guys. Welcome to the queue. You ever had a problem with your SQL server running out of tempdb space or seems like the performance is just slow? If so, this vlog is for you. I'm Tim Webb with EquiviQ Software and uh, we are a certified solution partner for SolidWorks and one of the things that we don't really talk about that much is the uh, outsourced PDM administration service that we offer to our customers. That's where we become our customer's PDM admin team. We do monitoring of the SQL server in the back end just as part of the service. One of the things that we like to monitor is the activity monitor inside SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, that seems to be a, a great indicator for just what kind of activity is going on. I have that cooking here in the background where it's got some windows uh, set to refresh at the top. It just shows the real-time activity uh, you know, refreshed every second. Another one of the tools that we like to use is the resource monitor on the server. We monitor disk space usage and we monitor memory usage. Most of the time you can watch for trends in some of the, the memory usage and then some of the trends with the disk usage to determine what's actually going on. One of the pain points that we found most recently uh, with one of our customers who's having PDM performance, uh, you know, the users were sensing that there was just something not right, that, you know, you'd click and then you'd have to wait a long time. So we took a look at the disk monitor inside the resource monitor and found that for every file that was in their file archive in a certain folder, as they would navigate into that folder, the antivirus was scanning every file. And so if it hadn't been for the monitoring that we were doing, we wouldn't have uncovered what was actually happening there. So we disabled the antivirus from doing active scans on folders and then doing periodic scans um, outside of business hours. Another one was the temp database was not sized correctly. And, and there's a little, you know, there, there's different schools of thoughts here. We follow the Microsoft SQL Server recommended settings. With SQL Server 2016, uh, every every database that gets installed, every SQL server that gets installed will automatically create a temp DB for every processor up to a maximum of eight. And so if your database has only one temp DB file, it may be worth looking at some of those resources and you can definitely contact us about it and we'll help you determine what it is that uh, those settings need to be optimized and fine tuned. Disk latency is probably one of the biggest pain points that we find. If you can access those temp DB files uh, from a flash drive or an SSD drive, uh, that really will increase your performance as far as uh, how your PDM is operating because the lifeblood of your SQL server is the tempdb uh, log and the database files. And so also, if you can move your database onto the actual PDM database onto a flash drive, that will decrease your access times considerably. Uh, monitoring for uh, memory is want to have some settings that are fine-tuned so that the size of your database is not, or excuse me, the size of your SQL server's memory usage is not overtaking the entire server's memory because SQL will use up every bit that you give to it. So we've just got a few of those uh, fine points in a white paper that we can provide to you. So feel free to contact us and schedule a meeting with me at any time and we'll talk about it. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And uh, connect with us on LinkedIn. We'd like to talk with you. We'd like to learn about your pain points, see what we can do to help. This is Tim with EquiviQ. Believe in the queue.